In this video, I am going to review product attributes. To begin, we're going to go to Catalog, and we're going to select Product Attribute. This brings us to the Product Attribute screen. I have a number of existing product attributes, and if I wanted to edit any of these, I can come over here to the Edit icon associated with each attribute and click that to edit. I can click the trash can icon to remove. For now we're going to go ahead and we're going to create a new product attribute. We're going to click on the plus sign in the upper right corner and I'm going to add my new product attribute name. I can enable these switches here for allow multi-select if I wanted this particular product attribute uh, to be uh, selected for numerous products and I could also enable the is required if I wanted this to be a required product attribute but I want this to be um, an option so I'm going to deselect that and click Save. My product attribute was added successfully. Now we're going to look at how I can associate this new product attribute uh, with the product um, that I want it associated with. So we're going to come over here to products on the left side menu panel and then I'm going to um, select the product that I would like the attribute associated with. In this case it's going to be the Mighty Moe's Deluxe Burger and the information for this product appears. I'm going to go to the second tab, the product attribute tab and I see all of my existing product attributes but I don't see the one I just added which is turkey. I'm going to go ahead and click the add box. I'm going to click on the drop down for attribute name and there I see turkey. I'm going to select that and name. I could call this turkey but um, I'm going to go ahead when it shows up on the register um, I want it to appear as Turkey Deluxe. Additional amount. I'm going to add um, an additional $2 if a customer selects this product attribute. This could be left at zero if there was no price difference associated with this attribute. And I'm going to click Save. The product attribute was added successfully, Turkey. It's going to show up on the register screen as Turkey Deluxe and there's a $2 um, additional fee if this item is selected. Again, I can edit this item by clicking on the edit icon or I could change any of this information and of course I can delete it if I wish. We're now going to go to the register and I'm going to select my product. I've had a couple products in there. I'm going to get rid of those real quick. Um, I'm going to select my product and upon clicking my product I see all of my product attributes appear. And they appear under this, um, this icon here which is our product attribute icon and so any one of these can be a selected. So here's my deluxe burger um, without the meat type. So in this case I want to add, uh, I want to make this a turkey burger. So I'm going to go ahead and select turkey. And again if the customer changed their mind and said no I would rather have elk. I could come up here and select elk or any one of these. But I'm going to go ahead and select turkey and it appears on the register screen. So I have my product. I have my product attribute of turkey with the additional fee. And now I'm ready to check this customer out. 